When I was six years old, I started drawing on Addy Machine tape, and I'd draw still pictures, and then I wanted to project them on the wall. I played with animation at home as best as I could. Um, I got really interested in electronics. So when it came time to go to college, I had this film production theatrical side of me, as well as my uh, inquiry into, into electronics and engineering and all. So the first job out of college was for CBS television. Uh, sounds great, TV director, put on the news and weather and do a few commercials, but there was nowhere to go. You have not a job, you have a career. Look ahead, where can you go? So I left the station and a door opened a crack at Warner Brothers. They wanted to talk to me. But I quickly rose up through Warner's and even Chuck Jones was one of my directors, and I've got a scene in The Grinch That Stole Christmas when Max gets his antlers cut off. You're looking at the guy that cut him off. But that launched the career in, in animation. I'd been tinkering since 1972 with lasers and holography. So in the morning, I'd get up, and I'd go to Warner Brothers to draw cartoons, and I'd come home and work late in the night with, with lasers and making three-dimensional images that hang in space that you don't need glasses to see. I left the animation industry, so I went from cartoonist to aerospace engineer <laughs> and um, working away there on the first space shuttle. So one day I get a call from Disney. We want you to come to work on the special effects. And so it's a technology merging. So I became an Imagineer. Okay, if you're gonna be in animation, first of all, understand what that is. So you've got to be able to act. Some of the students from other schools, you know, they come in, they, they already got CG under their belt. Oh, I can animate, I can move the ball from here to here, that's great. I say, well, what if the ball is unhappy? How would it move? Anything can have character, you just have to build it in. There's a lot of socializing and team effort. It's a team to do the job. It's not just pixel pushing, it's a people business. So these are the things I try to tell the students to share back what life in the fast lane is really all about. Especially if it's seniors, give them a leg up on what's ahead. And it's a fun ride, I tell them. <laughs> Just practice um, and really have fun with it. Uh, that most of the time, like 90% of my artistic career really has been doodling in my notebooks, my sketchbooks, my uh, math books, or you know, any, any number of places that I can find.